Um. <laughs> right. Awesome. Right. So, I'm ready. anyhow, you ready? You ready for the countdown? Yep. All right. So we'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hello everyone, Christopher right. here, and welcome to a <laughs> Disney Dash speed run. I got in, sorry, sorry, I, I had to. You got, no, I was going no, to say, since, since Fisher's here, I, you should do it. <laughs> I, sense, I sense blood in the water. I heard, you know, 0.2 of a millisecond of, of free air, so, you know, I have, have to do it. But, um, you, you know what, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, the reason why I wanted to take the lead is because uh, this is uh, two Disney Dash moderators favorite games me and, and, and katoti ratchet 5 the lps of 2010 11 whatever were Oops. the stuff of legends and we are here to crown a new legend of lead on stitch will it be james jones or will it be marcus terry b at bedford or should i say mtb yeah and the goal of this race is just like a break four levels i uh, get to like Lilo's house Easily. Yeah, so that's basically two yep. Lilo levels and two Stitch levels. Alright, okay. I, I, th I think, um, uh, mm -hmm. as well, like, like uh, if you've noticed something about the way the camera works in this game and the way the level design works in this game, it seems quite oh, familiar. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a <laughs> tiny bit. Yeah. But not much, obviously. Okay. We got some Where's the pants? I, I, Where did you used to? <laughs> my experience with this mean? game is, I remember, I remember like seeing it at a friend's house, and I, I played, well, my, my friend's house, and I played it. Uh, and it. It's a pretty short game, to be honest, actually. Like, it doesn't take long at all to uh, complete this game. Oh, it's, wow. Yeah, it definitely is. It's very accessible. Uh, again, another strength of these games, actually. But not in a kid. Can, not in a handholdy way. Like I don't feel this game. You can't die in it quite a lot. Oh yeah, the later levels are actually pretty hard. I would say. Yeah, it, 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 it's not a free win. Like none of these games really were. Like you did have to put like some effort into it. You know. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Also, do we Absolutely. Yet? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Four uh, levels. Yeah. Okay. Kauna Road. So that do all the buttons. So I, I <laughs> I'm so actually Lilo. finding this easier to play on the stick than with the D-pad. Which is interesting, based on the fact that uh, Crash Bandicoot was always more of a D-pad game. <laughs> yeah, for me anyway. You know, just the the, the loading screen screen artwork. Um, you know, the 2D animation. You know, of, of, of American studios. It really is like a lost art. I really would love to see like a, another. Um, I'm sort of a modern 2D take on Lilo and Stitch. Actually, I loved Lilo and Stitch as a, as a kid. And yeah. I, I was yeah, watching. Same. So, I was watching. Um, uh, I was. I basically. Long story short, but when I was in America, our flight two from the Samir Angus, we we're going to actually meet Steph Haskey, actually. Uh, oh, nice. Story. And uh, so the first time we went to go meet Steph, or second time we actually met her, um, was. Uh oh. Um, was we were uh, basically taking a flight from LAX to the, the uh, what's it called, to sit, not San Jose, but uh, San Francisco. Anyway, our flight was delayed on the uh, tarmac for like about an hour and a half. It was just like there was like some light issue and they needed to do this for Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I watched Lilo and Stitch on the, on the, like I watched the whole thing on the flight before we even took off. And it's actually, it's a very emotive movie. Like, I'm watch, watching it as an adult. Like, it's like, oh man, it's like a real, you know, it's a real emotional movie. Like, for kids, you know, you watch it as a kid, it's like, oh, whatever. When you, when you watch these movies as an adult, it hits differently, I, I find. Especially about, like, you know, losing, you know, they, they lost their parents. You know, essentially, the sister is is Lilo's mother. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's like, a, yeah. and father, essentially. So it's like a real, um, yeah, it's a fucking awesome movie. Yeah, and I, I really love the setting of it being in like Hawaii. I think that makes it quite mm. unique, like well, for the so, time anyway. Nice yeah. art style. I wish yeah. there was. Yeah. I wish there was so. I wish there was a lot more media based in Hawaii because Hawaii is fantastic. Like it's such a nice place. Uh, from what I've seen, my parents uh, have been there once. It does look it, yeah. Definitely. And this game like really, really does like bring that out, like that that sense of the. The location as well, considering it's a PS1 game, it's kind of does that 
<laughs> Better than you would think, yeah. In 2002, this was released. <laughs> oh wow, 2002. Sorry, super late game. This and Monsters Inc. Scare Island. So. Yeah, that's how, I, that's how um, oh, Monsters Inc. Right. ended up being on the PS2, actually, because it came out so right. late. And see, this is exactly why... Um, this is exactly why... And I think I talked about this like back in the day in one of my LPs, cheap plug. Um, but <laughs> it was like, what? This is like a, a good example, right? So, you know, um, Toy Story 2, you know, on PS1 and Bugs Life on PS1, you know, 1998, 1999, respectively. Then three years come past, we get a new, you know, game system in 2000. Um, and it just sort of really starts to hit in 2001. And. What happens, I find, is that this, this, this you can actually track it to the decline of like movie games and quality, because these games came out three years later than Toy Story 2, but they're nowhere near as good. You yeah, know, like it's just it's, yeah. it's baffling. Even graphically, they're not better. Like, That's right. Yeah. So the only thing they have on the on the on those games is draw distance. They definitely got better at draw distance. Yeah, I can see that. Snuck a few more pixels in, you know, but yeah. And what was that about the 2D ones though? Like the 2D film games, like I mean, what even like Tarzan, like it felt like kind of a downgrade. Like I love Tarzan, but like it just felt like a bit of a downgrade in graphics compared to like. But Lucas, before. doesn't Tarzan have a 3D section later in the game? I swear that there's like there a, is some a, 3D, it 3D levels. Level. It does yeah. like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's like it gets more open. It has two it 3D levels, like open. one one in the boat and one uh. What's the one after it? Like you ride an elephant <laughs> in 3D. <laughs> See, I never beat Tarzan again. It was another rental. Uh, yes. Um, but does that make me think that potentially? Oh wow, Marcus, nice job in there. Um, does that potentially make it think that they could have realized, hmm, we know how to do 3D now. We're good at 3D now, and then it was just too late to like change it. Oh wow, you can kill him that way. Yeah, so yeah, that's a good point actually, because it was um, it was it was our good friends at uh, Eurocom that made uh, Tarzan. Uh, so at that at that point, they would have had uh, some three D experience probably, or maybe they were yeah, maybe they were too focused on their IP forty winks, <laughs> and they just yeah. wanted to make a two point five D Tarzan game with the license that they had. They didn't want yeah. they wanted to play it quite safe, although it is a quite a a hard game uh, because of its 2.5D nature and the 3D sections that we mentioned like are in the game. Absolutely, no, it definitely is a hard game. You're, you're, you're right. Um, By the way, this is like the first time me playing this in like maybe 15 years, if not more, ooh. from a child because I used to play it on a kiosk in a uh, Brewster's, which is basically a like a restaurant chain and they had like a soft play area. Oh, and they had a kiosk yeah. of PS1 and. This was a game we usually had. Do you remember, had. Do you remember that, guys? That's before, that's before uh, these darn, it's darn generation after us have all these iPads and, and iPods and iPods and, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. We had, we, had to, we had to sit there and, and play the games in the store. You know, nowadays you just see kids. Yeah, totally uh, different so, experience. There's a magical yeah. nostalgia to it, really. Like, uh, uh, there is. I love hearing about it as well. Like, great. <laughs> we'll never and know this kind of sounds of like real. <laughs> yeah, so Skater, you were saying that you, you, your mum would drop you off to Walmart, right? Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and also, that this, this generation misses out on like things like Pizza Hut demos and those... Oh, like, yeah, Walmart, them! Walmart, Walmart kiosks, they had set, uh, yeah. set up right there. And, and the whole art of, of the demo is, is kind of gone. Yeah, now and nowadays, like, I mean, I love Crash 4, but like you essentially had to pay for the demo. Like, you had to pre-order it just to, you know, get the demo, which I think is a bit anti-consumer. Yeah. Yeah, bit, um, I didn't like, like the fact that they put some hard levels in the demo too. Yeah, like the some of the yeah. cool thing about some that of was the demos was some of them would be like beta demos, and you would actually see like it, extra stuff that exactly. they would cut out of the actual game. You don't have that anymore. That's pretty much the entire art of. That's pretty much the stuff. entire art of, of, the, the, of demo. the demo. Yeah, I will say though, as someone that got to play an earlier version of Crash Four. Um, you know, back in like a few months ago, before the demo, oh, yeah. the demo came out, there are there were differences, um, particularly with lighting, particularly with polish, um, it was the slide spin, etc. So uh, there definitely was changes, but it's nowhere near as overt as some of the examples, you know, like with Crash and Spyro and, 
and stuff like that. There was like slide jumping apparently in the demo, like from what, what I played. Like I didn't realize it was different, but apparently somebody said it's a bit different in the demo compared to like the yeah. final game. Like yeah. some modern, yeah, some modern. Oh sorry. Oh go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, just some modern demos I can think of that actually have done that, have actually had demos that were different than the final game, were the, the recent remakes of Resident Evil 2 and 3, and I thought it was cool that they did that. It ended up being like a tour back how their demos were back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you do have to be kind of careful in this game, like, because I've noticed, like, there's a bit of momentum when you jump on platforms of your... Yeah, like Crash Bandicoot 1. <laughs> yeah. Takes some getting used to. Oh, it's fine though. It's pretty... I, I, I find the game control quite smoothly when I was playing it recently. Like, and Yeah, like... It, it's, it is a fairly enjoyable game. Like, and, and, you know, all things considered. Um, it, it could have been a lot worse. Let's just say that. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look like a bad game at all. It doesn't look like it's a dumpster fire or anything. No, definitely not. I'd love, it's a good I'd game. love to like fully yeah. play this game, even though I haven't played it for years. It's like looks like something. The thing is, there's like do. this, there's like this weird time trial thing in the game, but it's actually good. Like, I think it's it's mostly inconsequential. I think it unlocks a few bonus clips at the very end, potentially. But I, I remember doing an LP and being like, it doesn't actually. I don't think it actually does anything. I can't remember. Mm. Well, I wonder what the world record is. Did it come out before? <laughs> well, I'm not doing well at this. I'm getting attacked. Here we go. Yeah, Fourth level. So, we, yeah. <laughs> well, what level are you on, James? Uh, I, I'm sure, actually. Yeah. Are you, uh, I think you're actually on the same level that Marcus was yeah, on. Yeah, it looks like we're on the same level. Yeah. So I've beaten the level then, back to Lilo's house. <laughs> Oh, oh man, it's pretty close. Fuck. It was actually Congrats. pretty close. Congratulations, was. Marcus. Oh, I can't uh, wait to wait. watch this. Well, one well done, like, well done, James, because, like, that was, oh, that was really yeah. good performance, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, um, just to specify as well, the tie, I, the tiebreaker we had in place in case, like, this did get as close as it ended up being, but, like, both battles finished at the same time, was, like, whoever had the most lights at the end basically won. So. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you want to finish, James, or...? Uh, uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> awesome, right, good man. fun racing. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Marcus has now uh, got an extra point for uh, uh, in his group. He has, he has um, uh, Cookie, Naval, um, oh shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all I have to go. That's all, got, that's all I have to go up after. Uh, that race. Yeah. But it's alright. Marcus is like editing that. Kind of I'll get the Toy Story one through. Oh yeah, through. no, the Toy Story one. If you haven't watched the Toy Story one, guys, by the t uh, this video, get your shit together because you have to watch it. It's a great race. Yeah, it's, it's a great race. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Like that'll be up first anyway. So <laughs> on the channel. Exactly, exactly. No, don't worry. This is this is all order. It's pretty easy with these smaller groups to to keep things. It's succinct, but um, yeah, well done, guys. Good job. Good work. Awesome. All right. I guess we can uh, wrap it up here. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so if you heard them. Thanks for watching the, the run. Today. <laughs> and yeah. uh, we'll see you next time. Awesome. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> Bye. All right. See ya.